growing up, I had I was so self-conscious. I I used to be teased by boys. You know, they used to tease me because I had a very high forehead. So I I, I had such a low self-esteem uh, because I was also vocal. You know, I always used to challenge boys. I used to fight with boys. I I, I grew up in what you call like a tomboy. So I never saw anything different. I mean, my father. Um, we were six girls in our family and only two boys. So my father had no choice. Um, everything he taught us the same. There was so much equality. He encouraged us to speak up all the time. So I really grew up uh, like that. But um, when I was in primary school, it was quite a difficult time for me. But when I went to a girls only school, when I went to high school, I thought that was just starting afresh. We were all girls. It built our confidence. I, I joined so many sports. No one would laugh at me. And I really enjoyed that. And then I went to university. So I studied, um, I'm a natural scientist. Uh, by profession, I studied geology, geography, and environmental science, and then I did my my second degree, my master's in South Africa, Cape Town, where I studied integrated water resource management, but with a specific focus on uh, water in society, the politics around water, uh, human rights, uh, water as a resource, but also looking at the how women's leadership, uh, women, women in, war, in the water sector, their leadership. So I zeroed in into that. So my career really started, um, I, I, I started uh, working as a researcher. So every other time with a semester break, I always would go and help as an assistant. I did most of my work within the social sciences for, for some reason because I had a lot of friends in the social sciences. So I would um, we I, I did some research with um, with the, with the wildlife community. I also uh, did some research with the labor union, and then I I moved and graduated uh, after university. Uh, my first job was working for an IT company where we're training um, geographic information systems, so we're support system, uh, so we're marketing um, geographic information system way before we had all the Google Maps and everything. So we're also um, marketing and supporting uh, IT solutions for mining companies and for demining companies. So uh, in Zimbabwe, we we have borders with uh, Mozambique where there were a lot of uh, mines, um, mines which were planted um, during the Liberation War. So we did a lot of work with a company which was demining and removing those mines. So we would provide the, the, the IT software, maintain it uh, in terms of for them to locate. So I was into IT, which was completely different uh, from what I had studied, but I enjoyed it so much because I, it had a lot of link with uh, geosciences. And then I, I taught for a while. I, I became a teacher, a high school teacher. I was teaching geography at a girl's high school. And coincidentally, at that school, I was also teaching my younger sister was in that school. It was so difficult for me because, you know, um, it was the era where, you know, young girls would bring cell phones. I didn't have a cell phone. I was going through a very difficult time in my life. I just had a baby. I didn't have a job and I went into teaching, but I enjoyed it. So I taught then from there, I moved in and I worked for the United Nations. So I worked as a, as a program associate on sexual reproductive health and rights, uh, looking at issues of post-abortion care. Uh, for UNFPA, and then I moved and I worked for uh, UNIFEM, which is now UN Women, where I was uh, coordinating a gender forum, which is like a multi-stakeholder uh, forum for, uh, you know, gender actors, uh, people who are in government, uh, civil society, private and public sector. So I was coordinating that forum. And from then, I can really, truly say that's where my whole uh, career shifted. That's when I had a strong focus on gender and development.